guys, welcome back. Um, as usual, don't pay any attention to my appearance. It is 12.15 a.m. So it's after midnight. I've been cleaning. But I need to get some of my Dollar Tree things out so I can finish what I'm working on. So I'm like, alright, I'm just going to stop and do my Dollar Tree haul. And just get it out of the way. So here goes nothing. So the first thing I got, I was heading to the checkout. Like if you've seen in my other um, recent Dollar Tree hauls, I got some dishes, like a tray and then like a big serving bowl that had this pattern on it. I think I got a dish towel too. So like the seashells and the coral. So my neighbors, their cats always end up on my porch and laying on, like on our back deck. It's like fenced in, but whatever. And their cats always get on our chairs. I'm allergic to cats, so my son and my eyes start itching and I go about crazy. So we threw away the ones from last year. And I've never seen chair cushions at Dollar Tree. And I know they're not the greatest and they're super thin, but hey, it's better than nothing, especially if they're not gonna last because I'm about to get rid of them because of cats. So I got four of these. There's actually only five of them in the store and one of them had a rip in it. So I took that as a sign that I was meant to have them because I needed four. So yeah, I just got four. And they're just bright and colorful and they match those dishes. I'm actually gonna put these back in the bag real quick though. Okay, so that's the first bag. I forget, oh no, I went there for uh, clear napkin holders to organize my like eyeshadow palettes and stuff. And I have one, two, three, four already, but they're full. So I needed more. And I got some more palettes. So in this bag, I got some more of the clear napkin holders. You can use these for anything, like a mail organizer to display palettes. I'll show you what I mean. See on that shelf? The neon green and purple. I just have my palettes in there. Eyeshadow palettes. Like Urban Decay Vice palettes. So I picked up some more. So I got two. I don't remember how many I got. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I must have just got four more. So yeah. Or you can use them for outside. You can use them for whatever. I also picked, oh, I forgot about these. Up at the register, I was kind of just looking around while I was waiting in the line because the lady ran out of change, so I had to sit there and wait forever. There was a guy in front of me, she ran out of change on. And I saw these. It's a set of the 10 of the LED lights, and it's red, white, and blue stars. We do like a 4th of July party every year, and we're all here all night, so these could sit out on the tables. They run on batteries. I love Dollar Tree lights. We get them all the time like every holiday so there's that bag my next bag over here I'm gonna add two more bags on the floor okay so in this bag okay along with the 4th of July stuff that I just showed you the lights they had these paper straws and the kids use straws in their drinks so I just picked up one of each pack each pack has 24 paper straws so these, and these are from Greenbrier. So these are blue with the white stars. These are those red, white, and blue. And these are red with white stars. How cute are those? I'm so excited. I love like holidays and just being festive with decorations and eatery. I got those. I should put them in here with those. I also picked up, oh this dish drying mat in the same pattern. Like I have a dish drainer and it's this teal color. So this will be perfect for it to sit on, just with the coral and seashells. So I got that, Greenbrier. I don't know, people seem to like to know where things are made from. And then I also picked up these two like serving trays. So one's just a rectangle and one looks like a surfboard. These can just sit wherever with fresh produce on it. So then if like the produce starts to go bad and you don't get the yucky stuff on your counter or table or wherever, it can just be on these plastic trays. Or you can use these for like taking stuff off the grill. That's what I got the big one for that I showed in a previous haul. Let me stick those in here. This next thing is kind of random, but I just love this color. And it's just a plastic... Is that my neighbor outside? I don't know. One of their cats is like in heat and I just keep hearing it crying outside. I keep thinking there's like a kid outside crying because it sounds like a 
human. So it's just like one of the stemless wine glasses or whatever. Whatever it's called. I don't know. I just got it because I think it's pretty. So yeah, plastic. Super pretty. So I picked that up. Oh, I forgot about the stuff that's in that other one. I'm so tired. I just have so much to do. Ooh, this bag has all kinds of goodies in it. My receipt. I forgot what I got. I went like a week ago. So I just got some of these plastic bowls. These are also Greenbrier. So there's four teal and four pink. I have plastic plates of these colors because last summer people were giving me crap about we're using all my paper plates and plastic utensils for my eating videos. So I went and bought plastic ones. Did I say they get, they get crap on? Yeah, paper plates, paper bowls, and plastic silverware. So here's some plastic bowls to match my plastic plates that I got last year. Just so people can back off and not lecture me. I hate doing dishes. Okay, so next in here is just this, um, I, or it's a phone pouch. It says it fits iPhone SE and 5 and 5S, 6 and 7, and Samsung 7S and 7S. It's like the, I just got a change purse the other day that's black and silver from Meyer. But this was a Dollar Tree. So it's a little foam pouch. It has a zipper. Nicole Burgess, um, she got one. I forget what color hers was. I think she got a couple maybe. And she said she's going to use it for sunglasses. So it has the really long straps you could wear on your neck. You could keep cash in it, like cash, sunglasses, your phone, whatever. I would have grabbed more, like one for Adri, but this is the only one I saw. I actually looked at them a while back and didn't get one. And then I saw this over by like the cell phones, which I wish they would get selfie sticks in because I need a couple more of those. I got one last year and I should have got like five because they've never had them since. So anyway, I just got that cute little phone holder or sunglass holder, whatever. I also picked these up. It says new and improved, softer, caramel, and more flavor. Like I have a bunch of snacks in here, but they have peanuts in them and I can't have peanuts anymore. So this is just soft caramel covered in milk chocolate. I've never even had these before. So are they like milk duds or something? Someone comment down below and tell me what these are and if they're good. They look good. At least I did at the time. I also picked up a box of Shopkins Band-Aids. Adrienne loves Band-Aids. She loves Shopkins. Like whenever I'm in there, I look and see what they have. I've gotten Minions, My Little Pony, Shopkins. Just whenever I see... Uh, emojis. I have emoji band-aids I got from Dollar Tree. I mean, a band-aid's a band-aid. Look how cute. And she loves them. I used to actually collect different styles of band-aids. Anyway, now that Alex has teeth, I decided to get her toothbrush. And these are like the smallest ones I could find. And they are Peppa and George. So she has her first toothbrushes. They're teeny tiny. Oh, I didn't even think to get her her own toothbrush. Or toothpaste because she can't use the one that Adrian has. Usually George is blue, but the blue one has Peppa on it and the pink one has George on it. Maybe that's why they're there. Maybe because they made them backwards. I don't know, but two toothbrushes for a buck for a toddler is fine by me. I also picked up uh, this little, it says, there's Zoom Zooms. Adrian loves these. This one has Piglet, Thumper, and Alice. So look, the little stack them up. So there's Alice in Wonderland, Thumper, and Piglet. It has a little guide. I think she has an Alice in Wonderland set, but I don't know if it came with a big Alice like that. Uh, these things are way more than a dollar, like at a regular store. I also picked up one of these for Adri because I used to have these. When I was a kid and I loved them, it's the 10 color pen. So it has 10 different colors in there. You just push down whichever one you want to write with. It's a fatter pen, but she should still be able to use it. And with 10 colors, I think she'll get a kick out of that. And the last thing in this bag is this nail art pen. It says blueberry scent, but it has, so it looks like one end is marker. And then the middle is polish. And then it has these rings. I had three of these in my cart. But the other two, I got to look at and these were like just loose glitter. There's like a glare because of this stupid light. But these are actually like 
little gems so I would be able to glue them on her fingernails. I think she'll like that. So that's it from that one. Next, I don't really need the polish. I just thought it would be cute for the gems. She likes to have me put like stickers and all kinds of stuff on her fingernails. And then my last bag. I forgot about these. I've seen so many people haul so many like candles. Yes, I love my Bath and Body Works candles. Yes, I love my party light candles and melts. But so many people have talked about these and I decided I would try them out. And for a dollar, you cannot do it. So I did not. I think there was a couple that I didn't get. Oh, so first off they had these. Just these like ombre looking candles. And I ended up picking up three of them. Look how pretty. I ended up picking up three of them. Um, are you blurry and gross? Have you been? I'm sorry. So this first one is like purple to orange. And it smells delicious. And this is Brazilian Sunrise. It just smells like really fruity and tropical. So I picked up that one for $1. Does it see how many hours? Mm, no. So I don't know how long it's supposed to burn. But anyway, I got that candle. The next one is orange to red. Ooh, that smells really good too. And this one is Island Mango. It just smells really good and fruity and summery. And now that it's like 80 degrees out, it's perfect. And then the last one is the green to yellow. And these jars, when the candle's done, you can totally reuse them for whatever, which is what I'm excited about. Ooh. Pina Colada. And this just smells like coconut and pineapple. It smells really good. So I picked up those three. And then they had the ones that I keep seeing people haul in these little mason jar things. So this is the guava and raspberry. And these actually have lids. This one to me, I debated on getting it. It smells like the strawberry shortcake dolls. That fake plasticky, like fruity smell. You know what I'm talking about. It smells exactly like strawberry shortcake dolls. So that one's not my favorite. But then I picked up this one, which is watermelon. Does this say how long these are supposed to burn? Burn only on well protected heat surface for a maximum of three to four hours. And then probably just put it out and then use it again at a different time. This one smells like watermelon bubblegum. It actually smells like watermelon pucker, the alcohol. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This I hope I hope they smell this good when I burn them. Comment down below if you've had these. Like what kind of throw do they put off? Because Oh my god, it smells like watermelon pucker, watermelon bubblegum. Yum. And then the next one I picked up is honeydew melon. You know I love my honeydew melon from Yankee Candle and I love the honeydew from Party Light. It's in my bedroom. I have the melts, the tea lights, the votives. Stupid cat. And this smells right up there with the high-end party light and Yankee candles. I'm not even kidding. Oh my god. I love honeydew melon. I don't like to eat honeydew, but the scent, that's so weird. And then the last one I have in here is coconut leaves. And it's funny because that looks just like the old style of the coconut leaves from Bath and Body Works. And it just smells like coconut milk. Oh my god, it smells so good. If these have a good throw, I'll go back and get more. Because like, none of our rooms in our house are really big. And I typically have like a candle in every room. And like that can get kind of overwhelming when there's so many. Oh my god, it smells like coconut milk and like suntan lotion. But not like a, not a really strong suntan lotion, just... Oh my gosh. This smells so good. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up on this trip at the Dollar Tree. Like I said, I went in there for the napkin holders. 
I keep looking for the, I've seen the little unicorn and the little mermaid, um, little metal ring holders, and I cannot find them. I even asked Lena, she's like, well, I haven't even seen those yet. So they might be, you know, in the back in a box. She said, or there's sometimes, some things don't go to every single store. So she said they might not even get them, but she has not seen them yet. And she like runs that place. But what can you do? All I can do is look. I have like a little list, a little wish list of things I would like to get from there when I see them. So a lot of times I go in there for like one thing and then I do, I literally pull out my list. It's actually on my phone, which I'm using right now because my camera's over there charging. Um, I pull out my little list or I screenshot pictures like Nicole, Nicole Burgess. She puts pictures at the end of her Dollar Tree hauls. And I always find stuff on there that I like. And same with um, Sparkle on Forever. She puts a lot of pictures on Instagram. So like when I see things, I just kind of screenshot them. So I have like a running picture list of things that I'd like to get. And there was something else that I really wanted in there. I can't think of what it was. But it's like I went everywhere, even looking in like a random spot. Sorry guys, it's like midnight 30. It might even be later now. What time is it even? Let's just be here. Uh, 12.29 a.m. <laughs> That's why I'm so tired. Yeah. So now that I did this, I can get back to working on my eyeshadow palettes. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed so you don't miss out on any more Dollar Tree hauls. Give me a thumbs up if you like Dollar Tree hauls. And comment down below, like, what's on your wish list from Dollar Tree? Like, is there anything that you've been looking for that you can't find? Um, yeah, I'm curious to know what it is. It might be something I'll add to mine. <laughs> Sparkle on Forever, she also posted, like, a bunch of the little keychain puffs. And I kind of wish I would have got some of those because I saw them, not at my line, the checkout line, but, like, two lines over. I'm like, I'm not going to get online and go get them. Because, like, she puts them on purses, diaper bags. Oh, like little zipper pouches. Like, you could put them on anything. So she got, like, a bunch of different colors. And she had, like, a teal one and a black and a white. Dang it, I should have got some. But I don't know. I don't go in there very often because Jay yells at me every time. <laughs> He's like, you did, did you really need that? No. Life isn't just about needs. It's about wants. I work hard for my money, and I'm going to spend on things that I want, not just things that I need. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get back to doing these eyeshadow palettes and I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Hopefully I won't look like this and much more. I need to put some self tanner on. I got some wrinkle cream to be working on, trying out, testing, doing reviews on. So yeah, if you're into that, stay tuned for those too. Make sure you subscribe. Like if you're watching this video, you obviously came here for a reason. If it's for Dollar Tree hauls, I have them all on a playlist. So yeah, everything's broken down so you don't have to sort through all my videos to find what you like. They're all broken down into their own playlist. So that makes it nice and easy. So go ahead and subscribe. Share my video. When I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm doing another giveaway. So watch for that. And yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye.